Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here in Dawnless Days and oh boy has there been an update. It's The new update is out. It's 0.80 and oh it is a big one. We've got so much stuff to cover. I'm going to try and sort of do this in a very small and condensed sort of video. I don't want to kind of like lengthen it out but I'm going to hit all the major points of what is to come in 0.8. It's adds so much uh, like new flavor and I feel like adds a lot of sort of like lore as well to um to the mod especially since there are like a whole bunch of new heroes i'm gonna put up a whole list of things uh hopefully on the screen now hopefully post credit pope has remembered to do it of things that are going to be added in dawn the stage and then i'm going to kind of give my sort of like go over of some of the units and also kind of like uh, give my sort of views on this update but uh, Certainly, if you want to see more Dawnless Day stuff, I've got a whole bunch of uh, replays already, especially sent by the devs, to uh, check out and cover. So yes, if you want to see more Dawnless Days, more Lord of the Rings action, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new on here, and comment to show support is very much appreciated. And let's get straight into the action. And as you can see, we have got Boromir here on the screen. Um, Boromir is one of 11 new heroes that's been added. I've got a whole list of them, and I'm going to probably like show off a few of them. Um, but yeah, we have got uh, Boromir here, we've got Faramir, Denethor, Imrahil, all four new Gondorian, uh, like, generals, which is great. Um, so yeah, they've got various different heroes with different bodyguards, so yeah, like, Boromir here has his own, like, Osgiliath veterans look awesome, and they're kind of given, like, I mean, look at this guy, he's got an eye patch, that is badass. I mean, these, yeah, these guys of the scene action in Osgiliath, I'm looking forward to seeing whenever that map comes out, but yeah. Um, these guys look badass. It'd be cool if you could get them just as a unique unit. But yeah, the Boromir is one of um, four um, Gondor unit uh, Gondor heroes has been added. We then also have uh, Thranduil that's been added. We have our Bel uh, Belzagar. We have uh, Kahar, which are I believe Umbar and uh, not Umbar, sorry Harad and also Easterling um, generals. And then we have Urkenbrands. We have another Rohan general, and then also we have Legolas. Othrod and Brand. So yeah, um, you well, Othrod is really uh, Gothmog. I think he's like called in the films, but yeah, I think he's called uh, Othrod. So he's that beautiful looking boy that you see in the third film um, uh, of Lord of the Rings. And then yeah, we have King Brand who's fighting alongside Dane. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna like go through some of the, like the other cool stuff that's been added as well. Um, but there's a whole bunch of new units, and also there's some other very uh, exciting stuff to show off as well. But yes, I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing some of this content, and I'll see you guys in a moment. So the first faction we're gonna look at that gets us so much love in this new update is the Wooden Realm. Probably one of my favorite factions. Certainly my favorite Elven yeah, faction, that's for sure. I love playing as these guys. And I'm really glad to see they're getting a lot more lower tier stuff now added to their roster, along with a few other things as well. Just to kind of like give them some other options when maybe it's like a lower funds game, or you've got like a little bit of cash left and you've got nothing really to spend it on apart from maybe upgrades. Um, so yeah, these are Sylvan Arch, they are a levy bow. Uh, infantry that they are going to be added to the game um, again it's like I said they're pretty like um, I like well they're just cheap uh, infantry like cheap bows they're probably better than the average like levy bow units so they actually could be quite good especially since um, bows are really strong in Dawnless Days at the moment and they uh, they like you know if they hit anything with a zero missile block chance they're going to do a lot of damage the next unit is another bow unit these are Lasgal and Rangers which I believe are uh, basically just, uh, I d we have like forest rangers already, but now there's Lasgal and rangers, I think these are uh, new. Uh, certainly, if not, they're just renamed. Um, but I'm pretty sure these are a new unit. Um, so they're, I think, a little bit uh, like, I don't know. I, I think the uh, forest rangers are maybe just cheaper now. I don't know if there is much of a difference. Um, but yeah, so these guys, they look very similar, that's for sure. Uh, another bow unit has been added, which is quite quite cool. And then over here, we do have another uh, cheap spear. It's a Sylvan Spear. I believe these guys are also new. Um, they definitely look it. They definitely uh, they have like the same shield though, as uh, as like the uh, the other like cheaper spear that's available, uh, which is also I forgot their name. But yeah, the Sylvan Spears they're very they're cool, very new. I also like they've got like female uh, like warriors. Now fighting for the elves because you know both elves elven men and women did fight which is quite cool they managed to get that in there and sort that out 
And we do then have, as you might be able to hear, horses. We have uh, Elven Cav now for the Wooden Realm. We have Forest Riders. These guys are looking very fine. Uh, they've got like the last guardians of armor going on, so sort of, like the mid tier sort of armor, shields and spear. Uh, so I think it's just a spear cav, it's not a shock cav. Still very good though, and it now obviously gives a bit more um, options for the wooden realm in a, in a land battle, which is what I'd love to try and use them in as a land battle. Try and get these uh, this cavalry actually operational. I feel like with the support of like the archers and uh, and like maybe some shock uh, or spears, these guys. I think wooden realm can start to slay. On the uh, on the land battle scene, rather than just in a uh, siege, yeah, that should certainly be interesting to see them. And then there's another cool unit, another bow cav unit has been added to the world of Middle Earth to challenge, I guess, the uh, the reign of tyranny that Imladris and sort of like Khan and Harad uh, control in that sort of area. And that's the Girth Lagor. Uh, I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I'm going with. And yeah, they're a very light bow cavalry, and uh, yeah, they they certainly should add a little bit of uh, spice and interest. To, uh, to this faction as well. I'm loving uh, like the armor and the details on these units. Is again looks amazing. And yeah, a big big fan of like this unit being added. I'm definitely gonna have to try Wooden Realm very soon in like a stream or uh, in like a just a, in a custom battle or sort of like a custom scenario. Um, it certainly is gonna be really cool. And then the uh, I mean there are two obviously two generals you can bring, but uh, Brandwell we basically already had with the Elven King. Um, he was basically. They've just uh, renamed him, and it's still the same unit. But here we have Legolas. So he is uh, using the uh, Lasgal and Rangers as his bodyguard, which is why I believe the Lasgal and Rangers are a new unit. They definitely are looking different to the uh, Forest Rangers. Unless they've changed the Forest Rangers around, I don't know. Um, but yeah, <laughs> he's looking a little bit scary with those eyes there, is um, Legolas, but he's certainly looking very, very cool. Um, and I'm glad that he's been out. Look at his huge-ass bow. I think it's like the bow of the Galadrim that... Uh, um, Galadriel gifted him. Yeah, they look very, very cool. But yeah, the Wooden Realm, they've got no other real changes to their roster. They're all the new units, so they're starting to get a bit more of a beefed up roster. And oh boy, am I glad for that. And anyway, uh, the next sort of addition that I'm going to show off to you is also very, very cool. I also thought I'd just show you the Wooden Realm roster. I actually did actually forget a, uh, a unit, um, just as pro post credit Pope adding this in. Um, <laughs> we've got. Um, the Sylvan Axes have also been um, uh, have also been added. This is just something that uh, I managed to forget. But yeah, so yeah, the uh, Lascar and Rangers have actually replaced the Forest Rangers. Um, I we've got Forest Archers now. So um, yeah, post edit Pope adding this in. Uh, um, Pope was an idiot and managed to forget. But yeah, as you can see, everything else is there. It looks very very cool. Um, it looks a little bit more expanded. But yeah, um, blame present Pope for forgetting. Uh, these couple of units here and the mix-up in archers. Don't um, don't harass him in the comments. He is sorry. So the next unit that uh, I'm going to check out, well, there's two certain units that I'm going to be showing off to you next, uh, and they are new artillery pieces. And the first one is with Erebor. And oh boy, is it a cool one. It is the famous and infamous Twirly Whirlies. Yes, it is those uh, wacky ballistas that you see in the Hobbit, um, I believe these are just giant ballistas. They're not known as the Twirly Whirlies, but I'm going to be calling them that in uh, in replays when these guys feature. But yeah, we have the Dwarven Giant Ballista now as a unit, which is amazing that they've added this. I imagine it's going to be just a really good anti-personnel weapon. I've not yet tried it out, but uh, I can't see it knocking down walls. I imagine that's still going to be the job of an onager for the dwarves. But yeah, these uh, models look amazing. They really do. I mean... There's nothing like this, I feel like, in Attila, in like vanilla Attila. So how they've quite managed to create this is a, is a miracle, to be fair, and amazing. Um, it's yeah, it's uh, just a trade unit. It's got a 40-man crew or 40 dwarven crew. So I guess you could take a charge. You know, actually, it's got a lot of crew, a uh, spare crew for each uh, for each bolt thrower. So certainly, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time to chip it down and kill it. And I imagine the armor on these guys is pretty decent. I mean, they aren't uh, unarmored, this crew. So it could actually be kind of tough to take them down. But oh yes, this is one of two R3 pieces that has been added. Uh, and the other one is uh, on the forces of evil. So I'll show you that now. Look at these absolute war machines that Mo Mordor has had added. Oh my gosh, we have even bigger catapults now for Mordor. I guess these are the uh, siege equipment that you'll be using to siege down Minas Tirith or something like that in the campaign. But yeah, we have giant 
Onages, or I should say large onages, they call them. I feel a like giant would have been a better name because they are absolutely giant compared to the other ones. Um, we've got a huge crews as well for these guys. The poor little orcs are going to get the job of uh, manning these uh, artillery pieces, making sure they're all loaded and ready to go. I'm surprised it didn't give it a troll, the, uh, the job of manning this artillery piece. It is so large. But yes, this is the new uh, equipment that is uh, going to be used by Mordor to bring down the siege towers. Uh, bring, well, bring down just about anything. Uh, towers, walls, you name it. It's all coming down with these guys. But yeah, amazing, amazing uh, units. Uh, quite expensive. I think they're about like 2,000. Um, so they, it's going to be like a big sort of cost. I imagine they knock down walls really easy if they hit. It's a bit like sort of like having a, a grand... Um, like a, a, a grand uh, battery, sort of like a, a huge cannon in um, uh, a great bombard. That's what I'm looking for in 1212. Like they knock down a wall instantly. The same for these, I imagine. They knock down a wall in probably like one or two volleys. Um, so I imagine they're going to do some real good damage uh, in some sieges that we'll see shortly. But there is a whole bunch of new units that have been added for Mordor as well. Uh, Mordor actually had probably one of the, um, some most of the love in this uh, in this update, really. With a whole load of reskins and new unit cards and some new units as well. So we're going to cover some of those new units uh, in this video. So uh, look at these beautiful looking things. They look like they've been down the mines, these guys. Uh, they might honestly have been, to be honest, mining away in uh, some sort of pit before being sent out into battle. But yeah, these are new shock infantry unit. They're Morgul Raiders. They are better than the Orc Pillagers. Um, like sort of like in cost, I guess, but maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not really in battle. I imagine they are. Uh, they are very light shock infantry, um, and but they are pretty, uh, pretty uh, solid that, by the looks of it. I imagine they'll do some decent damage to sort of initially, and then probably then get killed off um, as uh, as like a battle goes on. Probably like take one unit out and then die, a bit like the orc pillage a little bit. Uh, the next unit is the orc warband. It's another like cheap. Uh, Sword unit for Mordor. I don't know how often it's going to be used. Maybe just to push up a, a ram or something like that. I think it really replaces like Orc Rabble, which is now a spear unit. Uh, it might have been for a little while, to be honest. I just never see them get brought really ever at all. But yeah, this is probably another unit that's just going to be used uh, to support like, I don't know, throw in for, uh, like, like I said, a ram or maybe like a first wave just to soak up some ammo or something like that. These guys are destined to die. They're not going to get many kills in a battle, I'd imagine. But they are heavy melee infantry, which is quite surprising. I guess it's kind of similar to the Gondor militia in that sense. So maybe they'll surprise me. We'll have to see them in action. The next unit uh, we have is also another sword unit. So we have Morgul Orcs here. They kind of give me Look at them. They've got, like, the, um, the beaks that, like, uh, Frodo has when he has his, like, disguise of his... His helmet on in Mordor. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I do like that they've added them. They all look like they've got that sword. Oh, actually, no, that's a bit more like um, the one that uh, Frodo has, I feel like. But yeah, they all uh, they, they all look like they've got like a bird feature going on. But yeah, these are the Morgul Orcs. Um, another heavy uh, melee infantry. They are trained, actually. So I wonder if these guys could get brought quite a bit more. I feel like, again, could tie down a lot of infantry uh, in a fight. There's a lot of them, 190. So it's kind of what Mordor can do with this numbers. It can just kind of like tie you down and overwhelm you. In some areas but yeah a very cool unit uh, and then the next one is even cooler uh, and we have a really nasty really scary uh like sword unit for mordor now instead of just uh uruk swords we now have the uruk bodyguards you can bring these guys they do look badass good they're capped to one and i imagine they're going to be real beasts to kill uh, which is probably why they're capped to one they look awesome in their black Sort of like uh, capes and shields and red uh, markings on there. They look awesome. They really, really do look elite. Um, and, and this is also a unit that uh, it can be used, well, I guess twice if you bring a certain general, which I'll be showing off in a moment. But another cool unit which has been added is wolves now for Mordor. So they now have Morgul wolves is what they're called. And they do look pretty cool. As we've seen in... Uh, Previous replays with Rudar now having wolves being added. Wolves can actually be pretty effective. Dunland has them as well, um, and are also fairly effective in that. But yeah, now that wolves can like be recalled uh, and they're not like a one-use thing, I think wolves are a lot more effective than uh, they used to be. And so I'm excited to see how these guys go. They also have a very cool banner. I just realized. Looks like a bit of a cannabis leaf going on there. I don't know, but yeah, maybe that's what they uh, worship along with Sauron. This guy is also a god on a wolf. I feel like he did not bring his dog to the party. But uh, there you go. That is um, sort of like the last unique unit that Mordor has. And then this is their general. And you probably guessed. 
because his face is on the damn thumbnail. But yeah, here he is, Gothmog or uh, Othrod, as he's also known. He has an Uruk bodyguard, uh, like sort of bo well bodyguard, and he also has a very looking like weird merge like eye and also white tree of Gondor there. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but that's kind of cool. Art. I do like that. It's very interesting. But yeah, I this is basically the final unit that uh, Mordor's had added, a new general uh, to go with the Witch King. So you have an option now of an infantry general or a cavalry general, like a unique one. So yeah, there you go, guys. They are all of the new units. So there you go, guys. That is the 8.0 update. Uh, or I should say 0 0.80 update. Uh, it's certainly one of the biggest we've had in a little while. 40 new units, um, which is great. Uh, there are a few I have missed off, I will admit. I'm going to let you guys learn about them. Eastlings have had a new unit added, Gondor has, and so have Isengard. I, there are obviously a few that I was going to miss out, um, but I really wanted to just kind of hit all the big things. I don't want to cover everything. I want to let you guys go into the Dawn Stays mod, discover some new stuff. Um, but yeah, we've had 11 new heroes uh, added. I've named all those, uh, which is great. Two, uh, four artillery new pieces. I've not shown off all those. Again, I'm going to leave uh, just a little bit for you guys to uh, work out. But the Eastlings have had a new one added, and Isengard has had another uh, unit added. It's another ballista. It's very similar to the Dwarven one. But yeah, Eastlings have had uh, a fire spitter added as well, which is really, really cool. I'm excited to see how that goes. And uh, yeah, it's exciting to see that the update has got so much on the way. Um, like I said, hopefully I put up uh, at the beginning of the video like some pictures so you guys see uh, all of the new stuff that's been added. If I haven't, hopefully post credit Pope has put it up at some point. Um, but yes, I am very excited to see how this update does. I'm excited to see some awesome battles and scenarios with these new units and heroes. And you know, just maybe just it, I feel like the heroes just add so much more like the uh, like the world that they're trying to build uh, and the, the mod they're trying to build because you feel like with more heroes you just immerse a bit more into uh, Middle Earth. It's not just a random general leading uh, your Gondorian armies now. It's now Boromir. It's now like Gothmog leading the hordes of orcs or the Witch King, and you've got Legolas defending the Wooden Realm, uh, or his father, Thranduil, if you wanted to. But yeah, it really is awesome. And the Dawn's Days team have done an amazing job. I've got an awesome replay to show off to you very soon. Uh, it depends when you're watching this. Maybe you're watching this after you've seen the replay, uh, or maybe you're watching it before. Um, but if you are watching it the day this comes out, tomorrow there will be an amazing, amazing replay uh, featuring some of those new units that I have mentioned here today. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye for now.